Hello, this is moments after the last vid, the bank vid, and I wanted to talk about how I got to a 50 bill bank, roughly, very roughly. <laughs> that number was a, a rough calculation, but still accurate within plus or minus one bill, I think. <laughs> so I went and looked at the timeline of my videos back to when I first bought my, my first rare, a red Santa hat. Um, that was about one year ago. So within one year, um, I would say that I earned the other 45 billion. Um, earned and had my items appreciate to that point. Um, so, you know, I, I've, I have a decent amount of free to play and lower level friends who I like to help through the game just because I've spent so much time in this game and it seems like useless information unless I can help someone. So I know that a lot of this seems impossible to someone who doesn't have the starting cash because you know every high tier money making method requires you to have a certain set of gear or um, a certain amount of cash to start flipping etc. And so I want to just say what I did, um, just for someone that's thinking like, huh, how do I get to that point? How do I get a Black Santa hat? So I started off bossing. Um, I did not start at Araxor. What I did start at was Vindicta. Um, I did about 3,000 kills. Let's see. I did, oh, no, I lied. <laughs> 1,700. So I did 1,700 kills, and I had some decent luck. I have 11 crests and 6 Dragon, dragon Rider lances. And that got me a hefty amount of starting cash, and I was able to buy gear. Um, because off, right off the bat, I think that the primary goal should be to get tier 90s. Tier 90s aren't that expensive. Um, a few Dragon Rider lances, and you have a Nox weapon. That Nox weapon will stay with you till you die an old man. <laughs> you're never going to sell that thing and you're going to use it almost all the time. Um, so I haven't, I wasn't into um, the other God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses, especially not the God Wars Dungeon 1. Um, but I jumped and did Araxi. That was my next PVM uh, cash influx. So I've made eight legs, four scythes, um, and a few um, staffs. I've never made a, a bow for obvious reasons. Um, it is considered an, an, a weapon that you jump over and just go to ascensions. Um, also, I made my own ascensions back before they got super expensive. Um, so those are the PVM those are basically all the PVM that I did to get a hefty amount of starting cash. And I spent all that starting cash on gear. Um, and then that video that I checked was from a, that was from a year ago. I got my first shadow die and I had gotten a, maybe one or two barrows before that. So all of a sudden I had around one bill or I, I had almost exactly one bill. Um, so what did I do with that one bill back in 2019? Nope, not there. Here. Um, I went and, and bought a Santa hat. 2019, roughly right here, that was 500 mil. I remember buying my first one for around 500 mil and my second one for around 600. Um, it was already on the rise back then um, and rising pretty steadily. So you may say, oh, like that was... You know, back then it's already max cash. I can't, I can't buy a Santa hat and expect it to appreciate like that. Um, but keep in mind that at the same time, 2019, when a Santa hat was 500 mil, um, the Zeros God Sword was about 800 mil. Um, you can see on release it shoots way up to about one and a half bill, and then it drops a little bit. And then it climbs and stays around steady at one bill ish. But the thing about this chart is it's an item that you can get in the game and it's not discontinued. You could get one today if you farmed Telos enough. Um, 
if you bought a, a ZGS back in the day, you would have lost money. Uh, and you certainly wouldn't have, wouldn't have gained much money unless you were you bought it like right here. And even then, over the course of years, you'd only gain a few hundred mil. Um, and this is a clear distinction when looking at items to invest in. And this may seem entirely obvious to you. Uh, you may say like, ah, obviously you want items that will be either taken out of the game or no items will be added to the game to drop their value because you are a smart human and you understand supply and demand. Um, and I would applaud you for that. And these, this phenomenon of having something shoot hundreds of, you know, billions or like a couple bill in the space of a month, which is what this thing was. Um, we all remember back when rares shot to high heaven. This isn't, you know, you can look at this right here. As a percentage of its total price, this is just as pronounced as this. You know, you look at this price right here and this price right here, that percentage rise is the same as this percentage rise. This isn't um, a phenomenon that happens, you know, once in an item's career. So, where am I? Here we are. So, all of this clue, um, all of my clue luck here, this is a very small percentage of my total wealth for a reason. Um, I was able to catch that rise, but you can as well. Um, obviously, you can't catch um, as big of a rise if you have less cash. But for instance, this Easter egg follower pet token is something that I'm looking at as the next big rise. It already sells at 850 mil, and its GE price is 106 mil. Now this means that e that few are traded so there's a low supply and that it is significantly undervalued on the GE. Um, this, these both are good determinants for an item's future. It, the GE price over time will rise to meet the selling price and this means that as the GE price rises the selling price will also rise. Um, and also, this is a cool follower pet. This is a cool follower pet to have. Um, it looks like an, a nostalgic item from OSRS that used to turn you into an Easter egg. Um, this item, an Easter egg. So there's that too. You can look at an item for its use as well as just being a discontinued item. Um, and then over here, we have a different scenario. Pot of Gold tokens were released uh, about half a year ago. And they were selling, their GE price was 30K, and there were a bunch of them. And also, their buy limit was 100, which was strange because most tokens buy at two, per, at two every four hours. That's their buy limit. But I was able to buy up 1,300, 1,400. And I was able to buy these up between 30 and 50k each, and now they're worth 200k each. So that is around 300 mil profit, um, which is okay right now, but this is six months. 300 mil in six months, that's not a whole lot. I'm going to hang on to these for quite some time. Um, if that price rise keeps going, then you know your profits are exponential. That's the, that's the whole point of hanging on to these tokens. Um, same thing, I've been buying up a few of these just in case. You know, it's a cool rest, I like it, I'm not going to lose money on it. And that's the main thing to think about, is if you buy these things, um, you're not going to lose money unless they are re-released. And that's the gamble that you're making with tokens. Um, on the other hand, things like Santa hats, Easter eggs, Christmas scythes, these will never be released. These will never be re-released, and they are the safest bets in the game, which is why they're priced so high. People want them because they are the safest bets in the game. You could buy, you could, you could convert all your money into Easter eggs, quit the game, come back in five years, and have like exponential the amount of money that you had before. That is almost for certain, because they will never re-release these items. So. Take this and shrink it. Snow parasols. 
they would have to be insane to re-release these. Seasons, all the whole Seasons outfit. I only have one of these, but I intend to buy more. Um, they would be insane to re-release this, um, the event that made these. So you look at items for their re-release. Like one of my worst investments was dance tokens. Conga Dance, Loved Up Walk, um, Party Fever. Some of these were re-released. And I lost money on those. That's okay. You know, it's going to happen. Um, I didn't lose a whole lot because I didn't buy a whole lot of them. But it was still a decent chunk. Um, so I hope I've done at least a marginal job of um, kind of explaining uh, the thought process behind long-term selling. Um, because it's boring. I Personally, it's boring to try and flip items in the GE um, or try and flip items you know like by typing in the chat in world 2 and hoping that someone buys your stuff like that's just you know bank standing might not be the fun most fun thing for you unless you're just you want to use this as like a social platform in which case more power to you but if you want to do PVM and clues and you want to hang out with your friends and do group bosses and all of the other stuff, then this is a good way to make sure that you are making money on the side, you know, while you're sleeping, which is always the best method. So do some research. Um, you could pick a few items and corner the market. Um, for instance, when I was buying these, I understood like every day I would check to see what they were buying at, insta buy and insta sell. Um, just in case that changed, you could, you know, you can, you, it is what you make it, basically. Um, lastly, I'm going to touch on Christmas tree hats. They are valued at 234 and they are selling at $230, um, which means, which is a bad sign. And I am have mixed emotions because they are a discontinued item but they are taking a downturn, um, which I think partially is because they don't look good and because there are too many discontinued hat items. Um, I could be wrong, but um, I think I might start selling these off before too long and converting them into uh, seasons pieces. All right, that's enough of that. Um, go buy you some discontinued.